Lawrence Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. I've got me a little birdie all ready to go there. That's about three and a half, four pounds chicken. Guys, you're going to love this one. Not only is it simple to make, it screams Caribbean with flavor. Boy, you're going to love this one. Today we're doing an oven roasted chicken. We're going to spatchcock it to help it cook faster. And guys, it's just a couple of ingredients. Trust me on this one. Just a couple of ingredients. Don't get tired. Of Still tons of flavors. Remember, if you haven't clicked subscribe yet, click subscribe. All the latest videos are going to be sent to you as soon as they go live. Let's get cooking, the man. I'm using my meat board, and this is why it's old. This board, oh boy, about 20 years. This cutting board is about 20 years old. I have here a whole chicken. Um, I've washed it, patted dry already. Remove any sort of feathers that you may be seeing laying around. And I like the chicken wings. I like to cut off these tips. And I'm just using kitchen scissors. Uh, you can use a kitchen uh, a chef's knife if you want. Just trim those off and you can discard it. And spatchcock really means, and I'm just going to flip this over now so you can see, this is the backbone of the chicken. So if you watch the sort of the tail feather, where the tail feathers are, what you want to do is the thickness of that, just go down the middle of it with that kitchen scissors. Yeah, I know it is sounding too righteous, but... And all we're going to do is open it up, but we need to remove the entire backbone. And if you're comfortable using your chef's knife to do this, by all means do so. And there we go, we've removed that bone from the chicken to open it up. As you have the chicken open, what I would recommend doing is any sort of pieces of fat, uh, remove it and discard. Next up, what we want to do is we're going to flip that chicken over so it's down with the chest all up now. I just want to go down and press it just to flatten it out. And there we go, you just spatchcocked. Can I sound rude, you know? A chicken. As promised, just very minimum ingredients. I have here some Caribbean green seasoning. In the description of the video, I'll have a link for that, and that's just a combination of all the herbs that I enjoy using um, as a base for seasoning any sort of meats as we traditionally do in the Caribbean. Also, you can check out CaribbeanPot.com for that recipe as well. I have here some olive oil, so I'm just going to go in with a bit of that olive oil. Some fresh ground black pepper. And you'll notice I'm not going in with any Caribbean sunshine. There's no scotch bonnet pepper in this today, guys. But in my green seasoning, I do have pimento peppers blended up in there, which is which we call seasoning peppers, and a good dose of sea salt. And I just want to bring all that together. And all you're going to do is pretty much... I'm going to use my hands, but you can use a brush to work it both sides of that chicken. So here we go, yo. Half of that is going to go on this side of the chicken. And using my hands, like I said, you can brush it on with, uh, with a brush of some sort. And all I'm going to do is really work that into all the little corners and all that there. Don't forget under the legs. And this is where you're going to get that lovely Caribbean vibe from. Boss, I'm telling you, this thing's going to be one of the best chicken you've ever had, man. And just flip him over. Go in with the last bit of that quick marinade. And speaking about marinade, we need to, after you're done doing this, put some cling wrap over that, put it in the fridge for a couple hours, and let that marinate and do its thing. Remember, Caribbean cooking is all about flavors. But not just any old flavors, flavors that you enjoy as well. So don't try to be going crazy with all the different herbs and spices and stuff like that. If you know it's something you don't like, you can leave it out. I mean, I say, at the end of the day, you're the one eating this, right? So there we go, guys. Put some plastic wrap over that and let that marinate for a couple hours. I transferred it now to my uh, sort of baking pan here. It has a wire rack, so it's not sitting directly 
um, on, on the, the surface of the pan there so air hot air can work below as well as on top of this chicken my oven is preheating at 400 degrees Fahrenheit so that's 400 degrees Fahrenheit I'm just gonna give him this a little bit more salt just to add a nice little crispiness to it as well and I've got here half of a lemon I'm just gonna squeeze some of the lemon on there toss that in And that's it guys, as soon as the oven comes to temperature, we're going to place it on the middle rack 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I just took it out of the oven, it's resting there 400 degrees Fahrenheit, it took 50 minutes or 50 minutes. Um, depending on your stove, it may take a little bit more, it may take a little bit less time, but that's a good guide to go with. Um, if you want to get some more color on there, you can turn on the broil setting 1-2 minutes and that's it. Halfway through um, roasting in the oven, I turn the pan around just to give it a sort of an even color. Here Karen has some of her famous chicken rice going and that's what we're going to be hmm, digging into soon. Looks absolutely stunning, doesn't it? Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure to have you guys here in the kitchen with me. Do give this recipe a try. It is so simple. This is why I call it the simplest oven roasted chicken you'll ever make. And flavors, don't make joke. Flavors like crazy. Don't forget to click subscribe and click right next door here. I'm going to have a little clicky thing there. Click on it. Ton more chicken recipes for you guys. Have a good one.